Okay, guys. Whew. Um, back in Wicklow now. I'm um, back in Wicklow. Had a good bit of a hike there. Um, and then I got a lift right up to the gate again. So I'm going to do a hike in here, stay in the beach for a night, and then I'll decide tomorrow I might do a hike or I might not. Um, so I'll be back to you soon. Here's a glorious extra special today, extra beautiful. So okay, back soon, bye. Yeah, okay, so um, that's the gear. I'm trying to be lightweight, like I really am doing okay, but it's when you load up with food, water and beer, so because um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do any more hiking, I brought like enough drink to have for a few drinks tonight at the beach and tomorrow night at the beach, and then a good bit of food, I've got steak, I've got ducks, I've got full Irish breakfasts, um, I've got soup, and mashed potato, that smash thing I've never used, it I've used it before but I've never used it on camping so I'm going to use that. Um, got steak and pepper sauce. Not used to hearing the noise down here. Look, I'll show you what's happening. These lads are doing a great job here over the last few years. I might have shown you this here before, and they're redoing it. But that man's father lived here. Sorry, his grandfather, and grandmother lived there, at the bottom of the hill. And that one is there. He's after putting a new foundation in and everything. He's going to rebuild it bring it back to its former glory which is I think is really cool you know and um, what a glorious place to live oh, the sheep you know that's the mountain I might tackle tomorrow actually I'm going to ask the farmer there local knowledge is great when you're out camping lads get it as much of it you can and um, up here well you can the locals know all the little nuts and crannies and all the ways around and and the best ways and, and the easiest ways as well. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy this can of beer. Cheers. Back to you soon. Bye for now. Welcome back. I've emptied all, out all my kit. Okay. Um, okay. And I put it all on the ground. I'm just going to go through, which is just talk about it a little bit. Um, that's a 45 to 55 litre bag. It's a low alpine one. It's got loads of gadgets on the side and stuff that you can fit all extra stuff in. So this basically here, this is my cook set. To the right there, that's the Primus. Spider soles, if you see from the other videos, you would see that. That's just a bit of bread. That's my kitchen bag. So you can see there coffee, sugar, salt, pepper, sauces, condiments, tea bags, a couple of plastic spoons and stuff. Um, so I bring that everywhere with me. It's great, you know, salt and pepper. Uh, two sparks, a bowl there, sorry, a saucepan, and that's frying pan, non-stick, here's my gas, okay so two litres in water in that, that's three litres and that's 3.75 litres, this one here is empty, that's for in case I need to um, farm some water from the river, that one there is, um, I put the tablets in with that, it's on one of my other videos you'll see them, here's some dry food, some munchies, mashed potato, peanuts, bars, Soup. I don't know if it's going to be cold tonight, but I just brought some just in case. <coughs> okay, so that's all my kitchen food, water, and there's a bit of weight in that now. The back one there, the man food bag. That's um, that's a little freezer bag, and I put fr frozen stuff in there, and um, so that keeps everything cold and cool on the way down, and it's sealed in there. Okay, so next my sleep kit. It's a thermo rest. Sure, you know them. It's a half for sleeping at night. 
this is the Termarest pillow. They're brilliant, I have to say. Um, it squashes up to really small, but then opens out, and the foam things open out, and it gets bigger. Every time I look at it, it's bigger. Um, that's the chair. Um, if you look at one of the other videos, you'll see that. Okay, so my tent. That's my sleep kit. So, my bag, my mat, my pillow, and that's my tent, Fango Banshee. And they're the poles from it, and I carry separate. Um, okay, that's uh, extra clothes, med kit, power banks. I brought my tableau with me this time because I'm on my own, and there's a book I'm finishing, so I just want to finish it. So I brought that um, tripod, and then of course, most important, bears. Who wants to come down to a place like this and not enjoy a few bears? Oh, and actually, I want to show is this. For me, the most important thing about coming out into the outdoors is your clothing. So I have this layer, with this layer. This is a synthetic one. It's only a cheap one. It wasn't even. It's not a North Face or anything. It was Sixty quid. It's Columbia. Or no, not Columbia. Um, Crag Hopper. <clears throat> okay. Sixty quid. And then this one is a bear house. This is wind and rainproof. This jacket. And the other one down will keep me warm. So there, that's all emptied out there now. Um, bar the water, the bar the beer, the water in the field. It's about 15 kilos of kit there. Sleep kit, kitchen kit, chairs, comfort, blah, blah, blah. So that's what it is there. Now I'm going to set up my tent just there. down here. Got one of these here. These are like a Hereford beef. I never eat burgers at home, never. Only for some reason when I go camping I think I have to eat burgers and sausages and bacon and all this stuff. So I like to really pig out but I don't eat much of that at home. I'm more of a chicken and fish guy at home. But um anyways I'm looking forward to this burger here and have some cheese and Ketchup and mustard and no lettuce. But sure, what are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> you can't have everything. Like still. And here it is. The main event. <laughs> A cheeseburger. Hereford. I do say cheeseburger with sourdough bread. As a bundy. And my lips are watering. Back soon. Bye bye. Okay guys, there I am, set up, all ready, um, a lot of, all that stuff goes inside the tent tonight, and food as well, I don't want any fucking boards or rats or I don't know, anything like that anyway. Here's my chair, Termarest, with this gadget for a chair and it's really good, uh, my bag there, um, pillow. 
bears in there. Yeah, and then they're all for the night time. That's um, for the wind, for warmth, for the head, the snot, and then long johns or body armor or whatever you want to call them. They work, that's what I care about. Okay, so actually, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's about six. I think, but it doesn't matter what time it is. I'm just gonna chill here. Do you know what? Oh, here's more people coming down, that's right. They don't look like, they just look like walkers. Not carrying enough gear. Um, anyways. Back soon. Bye. Oh, there's a fish. Fillet in little today. Disappointed I was. I'm back on fillet now. I'm getting older. My teeth can't handle anything else. But I do like ribeye anyway, so I've got a ribeye for tonight. Oh, look at that. Peregrine falcons up there. Some other birds of prey around here, but there's a lot of peregrine falcons. Nobody down here on a Friday. Good weather. I don't know. Maybe there's a storm coming that I didn't hear about. <laughs> it wouldn't be my first time caught out with one anyway. It would be my last. Anyways, I'll be back to you soon. I'm going to eat the steak and have another beer. Bye. So, <clears throat> my etiquette and manners has gone out the door because I've made a mistake off the fork, just like this. Mm, mm, mm. Then in my element in here. <laughs> I really am. It's just this lake here now, and later on when it gets dark up there, all the stars come out. And that makes a perfect frame. If I'm still cohesive <laughs> at that point, I will try get something. Um, I should be able to get something. We we'll get something somehow. Um, a few little bobbins on the water there tells me there's a little fish in there, but it could be just little fucking tiny things. And anyway, raging. I don't have any fishing rod. I left it in one of the other lad's car. Um, I was nearly thinking of going and buying another one just for this trip, but I didn't really have that much money, <laughs> so I didn't. So here I am on my own like a freak in the middle of Wicklow, a beautiful lake. So I switched over and put my long johns on. Stem. Tell you the trick. You could sit out here for longer at night. I don't think I'll set a fire. I might get a little fire going. A few bits and pieces I've seen up there. But I can take our leave sometimes. If there's more people you can get a fire going just for the crack. No, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
Anyways, I'm going to finish my steak back down. Bye. Tied it up. Um, it's getting dark now, a bit cold. So, um, some friends of mine have come out and they made a mistake of leaving stuff outside your tent. Anything you leave outside, even during the summer, there's moisture in the air and you'll get wet. Leave your clothing now, it'll be soaked in the morning. Anything that you, you, you need. Um, so, everything like that, you're going to have to bring inside. No, but you really got to, um, because the top of the tent's going to be wet tonight. Um, everything all around, surrounding it's going to be wet. So, that's just, just keep that in mind. We need the Yeah, so I'm delighted that I came down here. Um, because in the morning I'm going to get up at about 7, 7 a.m. And it's, it's, look, there we are. That lake can you see behind me now? It's better there, the, the light is better there. But then I wake up in the morning, it's going to be beautiful, and this bird's going to be singing. Um, have a nice walk, stroll over, get some wood for, for a fire for tomorrow night. I'm going to stay here tomorrow night as well. Um, that I decided earlier. But, um, to the top of the mountain, yeah, I'll do it the next day. I'm just going to chill, enjoy this one. Yeah, so I'm really glad I come down. Um, because it was like four o'clock, five I think, or by the time I got here. So I'll go up in the morning, the seven, eight, and I'll have the whole day here just chilling out, just relaxing. I have a book to read. Um, Duncan and Ed, Duncan and Egg, the tour book. Um, it's a Game of Thrones fan, just will understand. And so it's a tour and I've been just strung out waiting for the the TV show to come back. So um, I've been reading all other books in between. I've read the other ones. Yeah. So anyways, chat is in a while. Bye.